Uh, this particular property is complex and it's, uh, there's a number of trails and uh, seating areas that are hard to find. Since we had this equipment, we thought we could do a much more intensive mapping if we use the terrestrial-based LiDAR scanner. Uh, it has uh, different man-made features. At the same time, uh, there are different kinds of uh, vegetation and uh, it's a good training site uh, for the students to come and uh, that's uh, really an awesome place for learning and training. Uh, we can import the results to computers and uh, these results help us to find the location of the different features, both man-made and also different uh, vegetations and find the place of that. And if anything's happened, like any hurricane or anything, it helps us to find the uh, previous location of these features. This particular unit also has, has the active sensor, which is the, the LiDAR scanner, which measures any point as well as its intensity value and builds a three-dimensional model. But it also has a traditional camera on it that will take imagery and then using the software built by Leica, will drape the imagery over all of the features that it finds. They're used uh, commonly with uh, range finders for like golfers. Some of those units use uh, light frequencies to, to, to range, but they just use a single pulse. This machine uses many pulses continually in a, as the machine moves around in a circle so you have an entire model of what you were looking at rather than just a single point. This type of technology for, that's used in this scanner is fairly new. Uh, only about two years old from the, the Leica Corporation. So Auburn University is very fortunate to have a unit this advanced and with its kind of software package, it's, uh, it makes Auburn one of the premier universities in the country. Mm -hmm.